In this video, we're going to look at how easy it is to create a video or a movie of your favorite photos and videos on the iPad when you use Magic Movie within iMovie. Basically, Magic Movie is a project within iMovie, I believe it was introduced in 2022, where all you need to do is just select your photos and videos that you want in your movie, and then Magic Movie takes care of the rest. It'll apply music. It'll apply a style. Now, the way that we're going to go through this is I'm going to show you how quickly we can create a movie. That's the first thing we're going to look at. We can do this within a couple of minutes. And then we're going to slow it down and see the different options we have once we create that movie. Let's take a look at how easy it is and how quickly we can create a movie when we're using the Magic Movie Project in iMovie on the iPad. Let's go to my iPad. As I mentioned, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to see how easy and how quickly we can create a movie. I recently, or my wife and I, recently went to Arizona. I have a number of photos and videos. I want to create a movie trip. First thing that we do is we open up iMovie here, and then we go and start a new project. We're just going to go through this relatively quickly, and then I'll slow it down again. We'll go over to Favorites. I select my photos and videos. This is so you can see how quickly we can go and create a movie. I go down to Create Magic Movie, and we have our movie. That's basically what we need to do. There is one more step. I need to go and change the title. Right now it's just called Magic Movie. So what I do is I just go over here to Text, and I call this Arizona 23. I tap on Done, and now I have my movie. How do we view it? Well, we just have to go and tap on Done. I go over to my Magic Movie here, and if I want to play it, I just tap on Play. Once I hit Play, you're going to see the titling is applied. It's going to have music in the background, and it's going to go through my different photos and videos that I selected. Tap on Play. There's the titling. We can hear the music. There's the photos. And shortly here, you're going to see a video. I did add a couple of videos in there. There's a video. And now it goes back over to the photo. So that's basically how easy it is to create a movie of our photos and videos with iMovie. So now that we know how easy it is, let's take a step back and go through this a little bit more slowly. The first thing is, is requirements. What do you need? Well, you basically need to have a a newer iPad with the latest iPad OS version on it. Now I am using iPad OS 17, but you don't need to be using iPad OS 17. This will also work with iPad OS 16. So you don't need the latest and greatest. My iPad here is an iPad Pro, but it's a first generation. So it basically works within any newer iPad. Now what you do need though is iMovie. iMovie is an app that's developed by Apple and it is free. All you have to do if you do not have it is just go over to the App Store, search for iMovie, and download it. So that's what you'll need. You'll need a newer iPad within the last few years, and you'll need to have it on the latest or the second latest iPad OS. All right, so now let's go and do this a little bit more slowly. We're going to open up iMovie here, and... The first thing that we need to do is we need to create a project. iMovie does have a number of different projects. We have Movie Project. This is the standard. This is the one where you have to go and edit it and it takes a little bit of more work, but you can actually do quite a bit with it, but there's a lot of work that is involved with it. We can also create a storyboard. This is where you follow a storyboard. And then we have Magic Movie. This is the one that we're looking at. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select Magic Movie, as I showed you earlier. From here, you go and select your photos and videos. Now, usually what I will do is I will favorite my photos and videos that I want to use in a project within the Photos app, and then I can easily find them in my favorites here. But you could really select from any of your albums. You can go and select from Photos. Maybe you have a number of videos you want to have. So you just go and select which ones you want to have. So we're just going to go with this one again here. And again, I just select my photos and videos that I want to have in here. Now, don't worry about how they are going to be placed in there. You can go and rearrange them once we get into the editing. I'll show you how you do that later on. So I just select which ones I want to have in there. Now all I need to do is just click on 
create magic movie, and it creates the movie, as you saw earlier. Now, let's take a look at the different options we have once we create this movie. The first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to go and change the title, as I showed you earlier. In order to do that, what we need to do is we need to edit that first clip. So you're going to see it says Magic Movie here. You don't want it to be called Magic Movie. You want to change the name. So again, we just go over here to Edit Clip. We tap on Text, and we just go and call it what we want. We're just going to call this one Arizona. Now from there, as you saw earlier, the video is pretty much done. But we do have more options. The first thing is, is we can change the style. When we change the style, it'll change the look of it and it'll change the music. To do that, what we do is we go up to the film strip icon here, click on it, and you're going to see choose a style. So from here, what I'm able to do is select which style I want to use. You can see that we have a number of different styles. Let's go with contemporary. Once I select the style, it is going to apply music. Each style has its own music. So what you'll want to do if you want to change it is go down to the note icon here and you can select from other music. Apple has a number of soundtracks that you can use. So we're going to use On the Weekend here. That sounds good. Tap on the plus and I tap on done. And now I've applied the contemporary style and I have On the Weekend. I can also change the font. We can change the color. And we can apply filters. We have a number of different filters that we can apply here. Now when we apply filters, it applies it to the entire project, not to just one clip. So it does apply to the entire project. Let's go with black and white here, and you're going to see that it's going to apply to the entire project. Now that I have that done, I just tap on Done, and I've applied my style, change music, and applied a filter. Well, what else can we do? Well, we can also rearrange our clips, as I mentioned earlier. We can add and remove clips, and we can group clips together. If we want to add clips, we just go down to the Add here, and we're able to use the camera on the iPad. I can choose from my photo library. And then I can also add a clip with a title. I'll talk about titles again in a little bit. But I can go and add a clip with a title if I want. To remove a clip, we just go and swipe to the left, and we can remove a clip. Now if we want to rearrange them, all you have to do is just drag them and place it where you want. You can see I'm just rearranging these clips. And then we can also group them together. Maybe you did something and one day you want to keep all of those clips together. To group them together, you just take one and drag it on top of another, and now we can see that that is a new group, and I'm able to drag that group anywhere I want. So that's a way that you can keep different photos and videos together as a group. What else can we do? Well, we can also change the titling. We can trim clips. We can even add voiceover and narration. The way that we do that is through the timeline. So what we need to do is we need to view our timeline. How do we do that? Well, basically, all we have to do is just go and edit any one of the clips. So I'm going to go and edit this clip here. Just click on it, and we go to edit clip. When I edit the clip, it brings me to my timeline view. So what I'm able to do is swipe through my timeline here and I can see all of the different photos and videos. From here what I do is I select which photo or video I want to edit. So if I wanted to add a title to this clip here, I have it selected. There's a yellow border and down across the bottom we have all of our different tools. I can edit it I can go and change the title or add a title, click on it, and we have a number of different titles. If I do not want to use a title, I go full screen. So let's just go with Mortise here, and we can see that we added a title there. Now what I need to do is I need to go and change the text. So I go to text here, and I go and change the text. So let's go Jeep, Jeeping, and I can mute it, being that this is a video, there's going to be audio in the background of that video. Well, if I don't want to hear that, I can go and make sure that that audio will not play. For this particular clip, it's still going to have that soundtrack in the back that it applied when it created the movie. I can also change the music, add the voiceover. So if I wanted to narrate this, 
if you're using the cinematic camera on your iPhone, you can go and make edits to that cinematic camera. We can also speed things up and slow it down. Click on this and we're able to speed it up, slow it down. Just that particular clip, not the entire movie, just that particular clip. And then I can go and replace it with another clip. And then of course I can go and delete it. Once you are all done, all you have to do is just tap on back and it takes you back to your video. Now that we're all done, the next thing you'll want to do is you want to play it, you'll want to share it, or maybe you want to delete it. Where do we do that? Well, all we have to do is just tap on done. We go over to our project here. If you want to rename it, you click on the name. So I'm just going to call this one AZ23. From here, I can go and play it. I can go and share it. And then I can go and delete it. So that's basically all we have to do to create a movie of our favorite photos and videos. We can let iMovie do most of the work for us. In fact, we can get a movie done within just a couple of minutes. We don't have to do any of the other editing. But the nice thing is, is we can if we want. Just download iMovie, create a new project, use Magic Movie, add your clips, add your photos, add your videos, and then the last step is you want to make sure that you go to that first clip, edit that clip, and change the titling. So then it's just not called Magic Movie. But basically that's all you have to do. If you want to take it a step further, you can go and edit that video. So that is how we can create a movie, or how easy it is to create a movie of our favorite photos and videos when we're using the Magic Movie Project with an iMovie on the iPad.